All right, peace and love, everybody. It's your Brozo here, and I'm here with my big sister, <laughs> Priestess of Sat Ray Amun, you know. And um, you, some of you might have seen a video I did, we did earlier on her channel. Um, she was talking about um, my book, and we were doing, you know, talking about different things. But today, she's in front of the camera. And we only talk about her. <laughs> so how are you doing, sister, first off? I am doing great. I am doing wonderful. You brought me some wonderful stuff. I can't wait to try them out. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Just just taking a preview. I'm already pinching my nipples, so I'm good. <laughs> so like I do with all my, uh, with all my guests, I let them kind of explain themselves, you know, who they are, what they do, et cetera, et cetera, for the people that know you. So please. All right, so, you know, my name is Princess Aser Rahman, and I got that name from Aser herself because I studied um, comedic spiritual science up in Boston with a Dr. Terry Nelson, um, Dr. Terry Nelson, and then I left her order. I didn't complete, and um, first of all, let me back it up. I'm from Jamaica, and I am a practitioner of Obia. I grew up in that system because my father... You know, he was um, a mystical Obia man, okay? <laughs> Not many people know that. Some people, when they find out, will be clutching their pearls. And, um, you know, ever since I was a child, I have had a lot of spiritual, um, psychic um, experiences and psychic phenomena. So that's what got me involved. And then when I moved to the United States, when I was like 15 years old, I studied with the Kemetics, and then I studied with the Nawabians, okay, for a few years. They were in Boston, mm. and I ran across the teachings of Malachi Z. York, and that was it. Um, in my opinion, Malachi Z. York was one of the greatest spiritual teachers of this age, mm. in that he formatted the information in a format that was readily accessible to Nubians. Mm. Okay, in like the Holy Tablet, the mm. El's Torah, you know, the El Kitab, mm. you know, things like that. But now that um, Malachi is no longer, you know, with us in, in that sense of um, having that, that order, now it's like we take that information and... Uh, move to another frequency mm -hmm. with it, okay? Because what has happened with our people, what has constantly happened is that our people are always looking for a leader, mm -hmm. you know? The mm -hmm. Malachi Z. York, the Malcolm X, the Elijah Muhammad, the Dr. King. Mm -hmm. Now, in the age of Aquarius, you are the master teacher. Mm -hmm. You are... You're the one you've been waiting on. Mm -hmm. You are the Buddha, the Muhammad, the Jesus, mm -hmm. all of that wrapped into one. Mm -hmm. But now you have to begin to do the work. And this is the age of work because so much has been done. And our people are in such a state. And now it's time to clean up the filth, mm -hmm. pretty much, okay? And so... You know, this this is where it's at for me, you know. In the process, I have had um, a spiritual practice for a few years. I've been doing divinations for about 30 years. I just started doing it professional probably about um, 10 years ago. I have a YouTube channel. Um, I have an IG, which I don't do much with, but I'm going to start. And so what I'm in the process now is aligning myself with the brothers and sisters that are on the same bandwidth frequency, mm -hmm. okay? Because there is a a certain protocol mm -hmm. to which we have to abide, yeah. you know? We're not aligning ourselves with people that are looking to um, prey on the people financially, spiritually, <laughs> sexually, none of that yeah. fuckery, all that stuff okay? We, all that stuff we all seen. Yeah, all that stuff, the scandals yeah. that have been yeah. in the spiritual, the various spiritual communities, mm -hmm. It's a new day. It's a new order. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And we are everyone coming in is an equal partner mm -hmm. in this. Okay? Because now it is time for you, okay, to activate your inner avatar. It, it is time for you to become once again a living God. So, you, just a little off camera, just a little while ago, we were talking about how... The earth is vibrating a certain frequency, and yes. you got to get on point. So, 
You know something's real interesting. Uh, I think I was listening to um, I was listening to Bobby Hemmett, and he was talking about he was talking about how before we came here and incarnated in this physical right. as, as Nubians uh, as a um, non ether beings. Okay, right. All right? It's like th this earth in here was it was already still here. We were just vibrating a higher density. Right. You know, and see, in you know, listening to that. And seeing us here, how we are today, and even though we've fallen, you know, right. we, I still feel as though we still see the remnants of that past. Right. You, you, you know, say of the yes, past yes. inside of us. Oh, you know yes. what I'm saying? And it, could you kind of uh, elaborate on that a little bit? Right. The remnants. And I forgot to, you know, mention the honorable, you know, Bobby Hammond, one of our great master teachers mm -hmm. also. You know, um, it's in our DNA. Yeah. It's in our RNA. Mm -hmm. We cannot get away from it. Yeah. Now, some people have allowed themselves to become so indoctrinated yeah. to where they are so heavily asleep. Mm -hmm. But for the ones of us, mm -hmm. okay, that it could not be, first of all, it couldn't be removed from your DNA. It's like, how do you peel your melanin off? Yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. And so now... What has been asleep has now been activated, mm -hmm. you know, is becoming awake. I mean, when you look all around, I don't know if you can get, like, you see, I have the, the comedic, you know, the, the comedic, all our comedic ancestors, you know, the tapestry and, you know, and all of that. So these are things that never left us, you know. It's, you resonate with certain things because they're in your DNA. Mm -hmm. It's in your RNA. It's in the very fiber of your being. And now that the earth, she has been, her frequency has been raised. Mm -hmm. If she was vibrating at a two, mm -hmm. she's now vibrating at an eight. And it's yeah. like this. It, it, you, you can't see it. How you can see it is when you go outside on a hot day. And when you look down on the ground and you can see the rays of the sun on the dirt. And, mm -hmm. and you see it vibrating. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. The frequency has been raised. So now we have to raise with that frequency. Mm -hmm. You know, plus the earth is spinning. Mm -hmm. You know? And so it's it's like all this stuff, you know, mm -hmm. is being done. It's mm -hmm. it's like in in the comedic pantheon when it talks about going down into the duat. Yeah. You know, the body is passed right. down there and you're down there with Sebek and you you know, my aunt. My mm -hmm. aunt has to weigh your heart against mm -hmm. a feather. And the reason that is, is because, you know, people can cloak themselves. Mm -hmm. They can cloak themselves and um, uh, put on a shield, a mask, or whatever. But your heart, this is why your heart is weighed against a feather. Because it's from your heart that emanates mm -hmm. everything, positive or negative. Mm -hmm. It's nothing wrong with negative, but there has to be a balance, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. In the comedic pantheon, my my um, my patron is Sebek. Mm -hmm. You know, Sebek is one of the gods of destruction, mm -hmm. but it's when it's divinely ordained. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's about us vibrating. Okay, being in balance with these polarities. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so this is what it is. Your heart now. So now that we are in the twenty four thousand year sun cycle of mm -hmm. the divine feminine because mm -hmm. she has two cycles moon and mm -hmm. sun in the moon cycle this is when we had our babylonian gods murdoch enki enlil mm -hmm. all of them and they pretty much went to war with tiamat because tiamat was upset with the younger gods yeah. running around causing chaos oh, yeah. and she wanted to get rid of them mm -hmm. and so you know there was this great battle mm -hmm. well now we are now in the 24,000 year sun cycle of the divine feminine. She's awakened in her active state. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because before she was kind of in, it's like a beer that goes into hibernation. Mm -hmm. Now the beer is woken up. Mm -hmm. And there's aspect of her that's batshit crazy. There's aspect <laughs> of her, you know, that's come up from the, it's like Arishka Gal. Yeah. The underworld when, you know, Nurgle went down and the gods told him, yo, don't mess with her. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. He did. And, you know, when he went back up, she... Sent her emissary, send him back down. They was like, no, nah, we're not going to do that. And she was like, what? I'll make the dead rise up to eat the living. So this is where it's at right now. 
And so, because we are the first race, the parent race, mm -hmm. children of the Anunnaki, mm -hmm. okay, people that came from Sirius B, Orion, mm -hmm. all that mm -hmm. stuff, now we have to start walking in our divine purpose. So, do you, in your, in your personal opinion, mm -hmm. um, considering, like, a good analogy would be we've been in a um, cocoon state. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. And after the cocoon comes the butterfly, correct? Right. So, so now, what, that butterfly state mm -hmm. coming into this new day and time with the energy of, you know, that's coming, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. the new day and time we're in, wouldn't it be, a, we, we should be evolving to something that we haven't seen on this planet for a very long time. Is that correct? Right. But but here's the thing, it's not going to happen in a Hollywood sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like they made the movie The X Men. Because mm -hmm. I remember, you know, I have a funny story to tell. In 2011, mm -hmm. a priestess, her husband, he just knew when 11 11 came around, he was going to be shooting fire out the palm of his hand. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It, he almost quit his job, you know? <laughs> and so, what it is, it's an inner activation mm -hmm. to where. Your, your third eye literally we will be open because there are billions of beings that are here mm -hmm. that exist in the invisible realm. Mm -hmm. Like to be able to see a demon mm -hmm. that looks, actually they're beings that look like gargoyles, mm -hmm. but they have the density and body like a dinosaur. So they you couldn't have one as a pet in your house because the wingspan alone <laughs> would bust out your walls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And all these different, even the celestial beings, mm -hmm. you know, but being able to see that now, where they no longer are in the invisible realm to you because yeah, this is so open. It. And this is so open where you can actually see them. You can hear them. So if the earth is vibrating mm -hmm. on a higher level, right. and some of these beings are on that level as well, won't they, won't, won't, this is going to be, a, uh, you know, because the spirit, the spirit world is just a uh, little faint. It's just on another dimension. Right. So the earth is spinning and the higher frequency coming. So is that is that kind of like why people are seeing such strange things now? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're seeing strange things and they're hearing, like I said, the sister that I heard. And, and I've had the ability, like um, years ago, um, somebody did something to one of my friends. And they were on the mother continent. And I was able to look. And to see what the person looked like. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To even see my father in the astral realm. Mm -hmm. I mean, to to see, like, one of my girlfriends had, her mother had, you know, had a car crash. And the car flipped over. And as she mm -hmm. was telling me, I was like, stop. Image is coming through. And saw this great being, like, about 15 feet tall mm. in blinding mm. light. Mm. And I'm like, wait a minute. That's Metatron. Mm. You know what Metatron, I'm saying? Yeah. Pulling her out of the car. And wow. right as I said that, the being came in my room and started giving me instructions to give to the mother to connect with that particular mm. being. Mm. You know, and some of us have this power mm -hmm. as being clear of voyant, mm -hmm. clear audience, mm -hmm. clear essence, and all the other senses. Mm -hmm. The senses you we, have, we used to have. Right. Yeah, yeah to, to hear, to see, to smell, to taste. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, to feel. Mm -hmm. You know how some people say, oh, when something comes around, they can feel the hair mm -hmm. on the back of their neck. Mm -hmm. right? yeah, 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 things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this question. We ultimately, like you said earlier, the, the help we're looking for is inside of us. Oh, yes. Okay. Now, when we reach out to our ancestors and these different other uh, um, uh, deities, and is that... How how do you correlate that? Is it just like extra help we're looking for? Or like how would you, you know, what? You know, as I'm sitting here, spirits it is coming in. Mm -hmm. It's different parts of ourselves. You mm -hmm. are your ancestors. Yes. So now we're dealing with the ancestors that, you know, are coming in. Mm -hmm. You know, doing the ancestral work. Mm -hmm. I remember last year, um, was it in uh, 20, 2019, driving down the street and I got a ritual to do an ancestral ritual for one full year. Mm -hmm. What they said, what could be, um, what would normally take um, like 10, 15 years can be done in one year. Mm -hmm. Also, we're in a time of rapid acceleration. Mm -hmm. So we are our ancestors. We are all of this. Mm -hmm. And now it's like putting the pieces of the puzzle together. Mm -hmm. Where the puzzle 
it all comes back together whole. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there are levels to this. When we die, at least this is what was um, told to me. When we transition, and the Koreans did a movie about that um, called Along with the Gods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That talks about becoming a spiritual, a spirit guide. And then you become um, a god, mm. okay? Mm. There's another Korean movie. I don't know the Koreans. They're up on this, you know, <laughs> um, called Eternal Love. It's on Netflix about the gods, the positive and the negative. And then from there, you become part of the celestial choir. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That army. And then from there, you just become one of the billions of blinking lights Light. to where yeah. you are now like part of your own galaxy. Mm -hmm. Now you go back to the source. Yeah. Because this thing is infinite. You know, when you, if you've ever meditated to the point where you go up in space and you're going up against this backdrop, you look, there is no end or no beginning. Mm -hmm. I remember when I, I conjured my dad, you know, and I'm like, yo, what's up, dude? You over there smoking weed with Bob Marley, chilling with Martha Starby. Yo, come <laughs> save me, man. What's up? And he came and I was like, yo, I, I met him. He was up in space. And I said, wow, where are you? And he said, I'm in a place with no walls. Mm. No walls. And it's interesting to know, years ago, the veil between the living and the dead has been dissolved. Yeah. Because yeah. there used to be a time when the veil was there. Mm -hmm. It's no longer there. Mm -hmm. And so it's like one big open marketplace yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 And, and as long as you know how to literally play the game, then you can, you can be a part of it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm, that's, yeah. That's pretty. No, it's interesting you said that because remember, um, remember we were talking about how um, you were talking about how like Chief Amachi once he passed, how he's on the other side still doing yeah. work. <laughs> still doing work, man. Yeah. Yo, that guy is doing work. Yeah. That guy is running around, you know, yeah. because what it is now, he is tasked with awakening those that have not been evolved. Yeah. But they're looking at him. Oh. He He's a voodoo man. He's an obia man mm -hmm. because he's still in all his regalia. Mm -hmm. And when he he left here as a chief, he's mm -hmm. still a chief in the astral realm. Mm -hmm. So he 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 wasn't demoted. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. But he has been tasked to waking those up. Like I remember a few years ago, I did a reading for a brother, and this grandmother was in the astral realm. Where's Jesus? Where's Jesus? Mm -hmm. Well, honey, Jesus saying he he yeah. doesn't been ascended a long time ago. Mm -hmm. You know, there's some energies that are no longer here mm -hmm. because they have been evolved. No, I mean, no, that, that makes that makes a lot of sense what we were just saying earlier about it's like it's like the Jacob's ladder. It's like there's different levels of ascension before you make oh, yes. it to the completely top. Right? Oh yes. Oh yeah. yes. There are levels to this. That makes no that makes perfect sense yeah. even dealing with once we transition here yeah. because and if we have to come back, right. but if we don't want to come back, we still got work to do to get there. To get there, yeah. to get on the other side, yeah. because I've already been given my next assignment. Mm -hmm. When I transition up over here, they're sending me back to the continent. Mm -hmm. Now, they, they told me, don't don't be talking about it, you know, <laughs> telling folks, where are you going? You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, damn, as much shade as I throw on the cousins on the continent, y'all sending me back there? But apparently I still have work to do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I've met a sister, not in my circle, but one of my sister's circle, that she went back as far as Tiamat. Mm. And I did an initiation. I think it, it was one, two, three, four, five. I think I initiated five people. But when I, they, they gave me like, do their initiations on the beach. And I, we went to a beach in South Carolina. And she was so old that she didn't even have a spiritual name. It was just a name. I think it was URK. When I looked it up, it's where it's now, modern day Iraq, where Mesopotamia mm, was. Yeah. It was a city over there in Mesopotamia. That's how old she was. And I'm like, damn, you're so old. What the hell are you doing back here? So that's a, here's a question I have. Mm -hmm. and I, see, because, you know, when I used to read the information from Doc, I got into it was still in the Sumerian time frame. So right. I saw all those information, all those pictures of Enlil Enki, and later on, you know, because I read those books from Zachariah Sitchin too, so I was it was kind of confusing because I didn't know how, how the Anunnaki was, etc. So, but because of the length, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, right. because of the the length and the time frame, how old all that the ancient Kush and Phoenician, but they were all still 
Africans. I mean, yeah. Still, oh, yeah. Black, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Correct? Our people have been on this planet for billions of years. Because Bill- remember, evolution is a long ass yeah. process. Mm-hmm. We came out the water as amoeba. Yeah. Learned to walk on land. Mm-hmm. Rem- I don't know if you remember, there was a, a couple of years ago, there was some fish right here in Georgia that mm-hmm. it came out and, and was walking like on land. That's, a- That's another species yeah. getting ready to take its place. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, kill the fish. Why would you? Mm -hmm. And I know I've run across dogs Mm -hmm. that I've looked in their face. And it's so funny. (laughs) I do readings for um, a sister and her dog. I was like, your dog has a male, a female energy or a male energy. I can't remember which. And was a, a, a person in a past life. And she had a pet psychic that you know was dealing with the the animal was like yeah that was telling her in a in a pet some people leave here depending they have to go back to being an animal that makes sense yeah i can see that because to I mean, evolve again because you yeah. have wasted mm-hmm. you have wasted this mm-hmm. life yeah. just do it for lack of a better word i'm jamaican fuckery yeah. okay and so now you have to go back i remember watching on um I think it was National Geographic and two bugs fighting mm-hmm. and one of them grabbed the other body slam. I'm like, look at those two brothers. <laughs> look, like, look at those two, you know, like, like two, WWF right, WWF, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this is what it is because, you know, with karma, a lot of people think karma is about, oh, what you do comes back to you. That has nothing yeah, to do with like, karma. That's like, no, <laughs> that's the baby. That's the baby version. Right. That's the baby yeah. version. What karma is, is where you are on the karmic wheel yeah, of life. Exactly, you understand? Exactly. And if you are a human and you consistently don't learn to evolve mm-hmm. mentally, spiritually, mm-hmm. then back to the back of the line yeah. you go. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's interesting because, see, me being me, me now, the way I live and the way I just, the way I've evolved you know, in my awakening and all of this, it's like, it's very difficult for me to relate to a lot of people, you know, right. on a level. I'm not saying I'm better or anything like that. No, but, but it's with all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but but like, um, it's very difficult to not put forth the first in my life, the evolution of my being, or right. bringing my true bring out. Anything else, you know, people watch, they watch football. It's okay. I used to, shoot, I used to love football. Yeah. You know, all that stuff. I, you know, I, I you know, it We've evolved beyond that. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. Know, so it's like I wake up, you know, I look at things, you know what I'm saying? Because you know me, I'll be traveling all over the place. Right. And I've seen things, and that's happened to me as well, kind of like dealing with some, some of the downloads I've been receiving. It's that the, 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 uh, the, what do you call it? The dots are being connected. Yeah. When I go to all these ancient places, you you right. know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. starting to see, you know, the antiquity, the true antiquity of yeah. this planet and these things. And also every time I see that, I see the antiquity of me and you know, in, in my right. in, in our people. You know what I mean? And see what it is, you know, this is the lowest level that humanity yeah. have ever been. Yeah. It is so called modern. It's nothing mo- it's it's the lowest we've ever been. Yeah. When you think like First of all, the age of Aquarius is the age of the collective. When mm-hmm. the collective wake up, you can't distract us with football, yeah. with yeah. rap music, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. little Uzi Vert getting a 24 million diamond put in his forehead. I mean, all this this ridiculous yeah, stuff. Yeah. We have people going to Thailand to have sex with children. Yeah. We have over there in Pakistan, mm. them raping them little boys mm, over yeah, there. Heard, heard you know what I'm saying? Did the people of Flint, Michigan get clean water yet? Yeah. Because when you become awake, you start to look and see the state of our planet. Yeah. Where it's complete, like you're living in a city dump. Yeah, it's yeah. filth. What? And you see all the excess mm-hmm. that's used to right. So you know this age, the age of Aquarius, is the age of the collective being awakened to the state of our planets. Okay, and taking the steps to clean it up, and it's going to take a while. By no means it's it's an overnight thing mm-hmm. because it did not get there overnight. Yeah. This is the age of equality. Mm-hmm. We are going to literally move past gender, race, um, sexuality, 
all of these stuff that is done to distract us. Yeah. This age is all about frequency. Yeah. It's either you're vibrating on the frequency yeah. or not. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? I, I um I saw see. <laughs> I, you can agree with me because you you've um, experienced your experiences. I know. But see, when I saw January 6th, um, when they happened at the Capitol, I saw two things. Yeah. I saw two things. I did see people that coming together and trying their, their best to start a revolution. I saw I saw right. I saw a purpose behind it, okay? Wrong people, wrong mindsets. We all know right. that. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? But you know what? I also saw that that history. Of those specific people That's of the Caucasian race. Now I see, I seen, I saw the history that we've all seen through the history books and stuff I've already dealt with throughout my life. That that's like that's that right there. When I saw that, it was like I. It's like I expected it. I was just, I was waiting for a long time to yeah. expect the whole world to see that. Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, because see what it is, and you know, this is not about black or white, yeah, but yeah. the myth. Of white supremacy, because yeah. there is no white supremacy, mm-hmm. is on its last leg. Yeah, exactly. And we see a group of people desperately hang trying on, to hang on, on mm-hmm. you know, to this this so-called supremacy, mm-hmm. you know. Because, I mean, back in the day, we had our own Wall Street. Mm-hmm. We had our own banks mm-hmm. and everything, and it was burnt down. You mm-hmm. know, people was hung and all of this stuff, you know. And... Uh, we are the majority in this country and mm-hmm. on this planet, mm-hmm. but we don't control the media. Yeah. Once the collective, because I've gotten down low, I was about to go down too with that. Because once the collective wake up and realize that we are indeed the majority, mm-hmm. you can't hold them in fear. You see yeah. that stuff with George Floyd and mm-hmm. you had like, what, 200 people standing around. No, get off of him. But nobody thought to push, mm-hmm. break the line and push yeah. them people off mm-hmm. of him. That's not going to happen much longer. You understand? Mm-hmm. Because when it talks about the energy of rebellion, it's going to be something that's going to spark. And I hope these people get it together before it gets there. Because when it gets there, if it gets there, it's not going to be nice because they're not going to be safe anywhere on the planet. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. It's like, Going back to what you said earlier about the planet evolving and vibing, yeah. it's like a lot. And I tell people all the same time, you know, regardless of race, you're gonna have a certain percentage, a yeah. small percentage of people of each race that gets it. That gets it. That yeah. gets it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The vast majority of people, mm-hmm. you know, you know, and we just saw it. There was like thousands of people out there doing that stuff. You know Acting what I'm saying? Fool. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, the vast majority of people, they're going. They because of their mindset and lot low vibrational mindset, you know what I'm saying? They're going about it the completely wrong way. The completely wrong way because what this is, this is about people whose minds can be led. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not pro Trump or anti Trump. Mm-hmm. In fact I did vote for his ass, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah I'm I'm not I'm not against him. But he could have never said nothing that, that sparked me. To leave my family to go exactly, run up on exactly, Capitol Hill exactly. to go do some foolishness. Exactly. And then you got some of these people that call themselves patriots, but you are defecating mm-hmm. on the floors mm-hmm. in Congress, peeing on on the the people's desk. Mm-hmm. And you got people running up in there with zip tie. What was you gonna do? Old ass Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> you, you know, zip tie her ass and drag it down the stairs and kill her? It's ridiculous. Yeah. We are past doing stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And what's going to come, these so-called world leaders are going... Because, listen, these are grown-ass men and women. Y'all want to tell me you can't sit down with Putin, Kim Jong-un, who, by the way, got the freshest fade of all the world leaders. (laughs) Okay? Stay with a fresh fade. You know know what I'm saying? You don't even hang with the brothers. Right, right, right. Rodman said, Right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, hook it up, right? (laughs) Biden and all these other world leaders... Y'all are adults. Y'all can't get together and sit down at a table like adults and do what's best for your people. Because the people don't want everything. We just want a piece of the pie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, we know that, you know, all they are, um, they, right. they're, they're babysitters. They're babysitters. What they because are. what it is, it, it, it's all, it, it's, a, um, it's like, what is it? it they're, yeah, it, it's babysitters. I can't even think of the word now. But it's like, um, 
they're just it, it's like an organization mm -hmm. it's like an organization and they're like because really they're beholden to their corporate master and who knows what else behind the scenes you know something uh i was listening to uh the uh dr valentine maybe a month or two ago right he was um he was talking about something he was talking about how there's like a whole group of people over like the illuminati right mm -hmm. and they're like, and this is what interests me because I've never really heard about he the way he he said it. He's pretty much saying that these people grasp it on to all the ancient comedic, uh, and they're using all our science. yeah exactly. So yeah, and it's bloodlines of families that did that right, mm -hmm. and it just keep passing it down. So it's like exactly. they have these sciences, and I remember Bob Mohammed saying he was saying that um like for example um if if Jews had melanin and had specific amount of power mm -hmm. then we'd be in trouble. You know what I'm saying? But right. considering that they're not really... Um, but know, considering who are the real Jews that yeah. are scattered all over the planet yeah. like vagabonds, let's just keep it real. Yeah. And even these Illuminati people, yeah. you know, they're not of the bloodline. Yeah. They are not. Yeah. Yeah. They, they have been using our science. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They have been using our science, but they are not of the bloodline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, plus, plus, they're linked to a, a whole different beings that you know yeah. that they're that they're that are looking at after them. You right. Know what I'm saying, but yeah, but but they are not of the bloodline. Yeah. They are truly not of the bloodline. But what they have done, because when all of this happened, our people, you know, um, you know, had spells casted over them, you know, and so. We were lost in the sauce. And then we had others that were doing excavation mm -hmm. over there in Kemet and what's now ancient, um, modern day Iraq, you know, uh, Mesopotamia and all those places mm -hmm. and got a lot of this science. But here is the thing. It is going to change because they don't have the keys mm -hmm. to unlock. These four, it's like the Solomon Keys. Those are ours. But isn't the blood? The, the blood's a part. It has to be like, you know what I'm saying? The bloodline and everything. The bloodline. For, for, for you. Yeah. For you to have that, for you to even do certain rituals, for you to, to, to do certain rituals, you know, and help, you have to have melanin. You have, you know what I'm saying? You, you, right. You, right. You, you have to be activated. You have to right. the carbon has to be activated. Right. Right. And that carbon, Illuminati people, carbon, there's no carbon yeah, being activated. No carbon, yeah. What it is, it's it's all technology. Yeah. It's like the Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz, yeah, wow. and she thought, illusions. you know, right, <laughs> illusions. Until she pulled back the curtain and yeah. see the little dwarf with the yeah, yeah, with the bullhorn, and this is what it is. So once we wake up out these illusions, mm -hmm. once we wake up and see, but there's going to have to be order, yeah, yeah. because there is an aspect of us, as you know, mm -hmm. the first devils on this planet was black. the black devil. Yeah, that's it. So when they become awake and we are the ones that's like, okay, can we like do this, you know, peace and, you know, and disagreeable, the disagreeables, yeah, yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? See, I, I don't want to be fighting with the disagreeables. No, I do that too much already I now. I do that too much already. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, I mean, <laughs> hey, shit, I got guns in my house. It ain't for anybody else. It's for a disagreeable. Yeah. I you know? That. Yeah. So, you know, and, and there is, um, you know, the energy that is now here. Mm -hmm. It's an energy of a crone type energy. Because what has been revealed to me, the mother, mm -hmm. there's three stages, maiden, mother, and crone. Mm -hmm. In the maiden stages, it's like, oh, the garden has been playing the Babylonian era, all of that. Mm -hmm. Now she's in a state of the mother. This is where mother comes home and seeing the children done tore up her house uh -oh. and is about to grab the belt and start beating ass. <laughs> okay? So what we're going to see in this day of eight, of ear, mm -hmm. breathing properly. You see mm -hmm. those products that you, because even me, mm -hmm. awakened, you know, but still, you know what I'm saying? Learning how to breathe properly, mm -hmm. eat properly, yep. conduct ourselves properly. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Everything has to be aligned. Mm -hmm. The the environment you live in, feng shui set up correctly, mm -hmm. minimalism. minimalism. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to be able to carry yourself mm -hmm. in that balance and in that alignment. 
Somebody said to me today, uh, text me today. Uh, actually, Stan. <laughs> he said, Ooh, he texted me today. Doing? He's, 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 he's so doing good. Um, <laughs> hey, Stan. <laughs> <you know. laughs> well, we know we were texting back and forth, and uh, he, he put a, a very good point. Say, you know, I keep on trying to say anything we've been talking about for a long time, right? Right. In certain situations, when these elect in Texas, right? right. They say that the, the grid's falling. You know, they don't have electricity. Yeah. You know, yeah. okay, okay, right. So, what happens if some of these people had solar panels? All right. Generators. All right. You know, sustainability. Right. And, uh, and we're going to have to do that. I've I've seen that now. Mm -hmm. People are buying pieces of land, and they're having shipping containers. Yes. And turning them into magnificent yeah. homes. What I saw in a vision is yurts, the round houses, mm -hmm. you know, yurts. And you can modernize them. It doesn't mean like we're going back to the age of the Flintstones. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we are going to have to use this technology in a responsible manner. Mm -hmm. I don't think, um, what, what's the guy with the heart technology? Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about Elon Musk? No, 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 no. Who's not it? him. No. Um Nikolai Tesla, Tesla, Tesla yeah, yeah. right, you know, and all this stuff. This is not what this technology is for. supposed to yeah. be used no, I agree, for. I agree. And he, but, he never wanted, he never intended for that. Right, anyway. and even I look at the houses that are being built now. You see them little cheap ass Roblox yeah. houses mm -hmm. that I I was doing some research. They've been building those from since in the Second World War. Mm -hmm. Well, they're built with this cheap plywood thing. And when the rain falls and all of this inclement, the mm -hmm. people in there breathing in those energies are going to come down with yeah, some, cases yeah, of yeah, cancer. Yeah. I have no doubt that's yeah. where a lot of that stuff come from. Because even just the carpet, you know how much chemicals it's been treated with? Yeah, exactly. And we're at, we're inhaling it yeah. daily. The 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 was painted to use to paint the walls. Mm -hmm. And you look at the cheap ass houses down the street from me. You see the ones down here, four hundred thousand dollars. It take them like two thousand dollars to build up one made of the houses. Days. Made in two days, <laughs> and you want to lock four hundred thousand yeah, dollars? Get no. out of here! Well, you know that you know all of that's got to stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, you know it's interesting you bring up Tesla because Tesla, you know, Tesla to me was one of the modern day, one of the best modern day um, inventors, whatever you want to call yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and the thing I liked about Tesla so much, it's like, from what I've read, it's like, he wasn't trying to be greedy. No, he, he trying was to be not. Like, uh, what's his name? Uh, the other guy, uh, what's the other guy? That, Bezos? Uh, no, 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 the guy that oh. stole his stuff. Um, oh, guy, Zuckerberg. Edison. No, Edison. Edison, Edison. He right, be, right. He was the opposite of Thomas Edison. Exactly. You know, he was trying well, to get free energy. You know what I'm saying? Well, well, well you know, he was a cancer like me. Oh, he was? <laughs> and not to say, because you do have... Up, um, you know, exceptions to the rules, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, we're not greedy people. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah, we're yeah, yeah. homebodies, you know, and, and like equality for everybody. I don't know. I, I, me personally, you know, from what I've seen, Elon Musk, I don't see him being the type of um, who's also another cancer. Is he? Yes. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't see him. I don't see him being trying to be corrupted by all of that. No. From the fact of you just giving like. Solar energy, and you can almost get it free now. Exactly. You know, and all these different things. And I, you know, like I said, we're always going to have leaders of all races on the planet that get it. That's right. trying to help humanity. Right. You know what I mean? And right. ultimately, I think that's the that's the the, the the direction that all of this is heading to. The people, the ignorant people, like you said earlier, the earth is going to shake them off like leaves. Right. They have to because yeah. they're like parasites. Yeah. They they're they're. Um, Useless eaters, useless eaters, you know, like like the Illuminati and all. Those are useless eaters, <laughs> also. I'm just, yeah, okay, but, and and so you know what it is is that using the technology in a responsible, responsible. manner, mm -hmm. you know, because technology should not be destructive to exactly. the planet, exactly. you know. Exactly. And if technology, and then here's my thing. This is just my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. You want to go up in space? Why are we spending? Billions to go up in space. You have not solved poverty on this planet. Free health care, universal health care, free education, affordable housing. When you have solved those things and, and pollution, come talk to me. Because where you think, because all these planets that you 
think you're going to go to yeah. are inhabited by other beings. Yeah. And they have the technology to see how destructive yeah. you are down here. What makes you think you're going to... Um, well, you can't destroy this because before that, she'll just sweep everybody off of here and just do a reset, which she's in the process of doing. The the imperialistic, you know, mindset. Capitalistic, yeah, capitalistic imperialism. imperialism. Yeah, it's, that mindset, you has know, to go. it's it's no, it's we, we see yeah. it's going. Yeah, you know it's, it's going. going. It's going, and you know, but you know, and, and you know, they. It seems like they. It seems like they're trying to. Once Hold they, on. They're, yeah. they're, they're holding on with Kung Fu death grip, you know? And yeah. it, everything has a time. Like I tell people, I said, just be patient. Yeah, yeah. Because I think agree. about Genghis Khan yeah. when he was rolling all across Asia Minor, mm -hmm. tearing it up. Mm -hmm. Where is Hitler today? Yeah. Where is Pol Pot, Idi mm -hmm. Amin? Mm -hmm. all, all of these des mm -hmm. despots. Yeah. yeah. You understand? Yeah. Everything has a season. Yeah. This is the way the universe functions. Mm -hmm. You know, now we're in the principle of cause and effect. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because the principle of rhythm, mm -hmm. what go up must come down. Mm -hmm. The principle of vibration, yeah. nothing rests. Mm -hmm. so Even when you go outside and you see a rock on the ground, and you say, oh, that rock is just there. It ain't doing nothing. Mm -hmm. But if you break it open and you look at under a High powered microscope, mm -hmm. and you see all the activity, the quarks, yeah. the neuron, all the mm -hmm. all of that. You you mm -hmm. understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everything has been in a state, just slowly, you know, mm -hmm. evolving. Mm -hmm. So right. um, no, 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 no. It's interesting because my personal opinion opinion about the future, I'm optimistic, but oh, yeah. any anything just like anything else for for. For that butterfly to get out of cocoon, he got to rip over that cocoon. So, and that's when it's like dealing with chaos. You know what I'm yes. saying? Chaos is when I think honestly it's going to have to ensue, but uh, on a um, just on a natural level of chaos. Right. You know what I mean? You know, right. a, 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 you know, I think a um, because man has been man has been holding this place down. So hard, well, for a very short time, technically, you know. What right. I'm saying? You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying like a couple they days. They think it's early. long, four hundred years. Oh no, that's not good. Twenty-five thousand years. Now. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But um, I just don't see that much. Um, when you're when you're limited in your powers, besides physical technology, you know, you you're you're limited to of, of holding on to. You you can't you can't beat nature. That's the you cannot, you cannot. You cannot. You can't, you can't be naked. And you can't stop universal forces because yeah. when we look at the forces that are lined up universally, like you got um, Saturn and um, Pluto for the next 21. These are energies that are lined up for 21, 14, yeah. 12. You it. know, and even Uranus is in a square with Saturn mm. today for the whole of 2021. Yeah, so it's just they're just sitting there doing work. Right. right. So they're sitting there doing work mm. and see, I call Uranus the baby Saturn because where Saturn is the, the crone mother, mm. Uranus is like the one who kicks in the door and like, we're ready for these changes mm. now. Well, you still got to go through Saturn. Yeah. Because Saturn is about order. Order, yeah. Always yeah. order. Yeah. Because out of chaos comes order. Mm. And see, now that the primordial energies, you know, are once again mm -hmm. awakened and in an active state. Because the earth go through stages yeah. of being active yeah. and inactive. Mm -hmm. Now in the active state, it's like, yo, what's up? And these these energies that are lined up, because this age of Aquarius, this is also the age of really getting into astrology. Yeah. Because definitely. you're going to have to know mm -hmm. these planetary alignments. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That that are here now. Yeah. It, it, it's it's done. Mm -hmm. It's here now. Change is imminent. Yeah, it's imminent. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter who you are, and and you know. And I talked about on my channel. I remember I got a download that the mother said, "Under this energy, a rich man can become poor overnight, and a poor man become rich overnight." And what happened with that GameStop? Um. 
thing there with teenagers yep. and millennials running up there becoming millionaires yep. overnight and millionaires losing yep. their fortune overnight. Mm-hmm. This is where it's going to happen because this is also the age of creativity mm-hmm. and entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's not going to be a five, six day work week. That's mm-hmm. done. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah. It's going to be working like three days, like four hours a day because we're going to have to look in. Take McDonald's. I can't hop off of them. Because you got people working there like 8, 12 hours a day. You're paying them seven fifty an hour. hour. And you, the franchise owner, you're making millions yeah, yeah. a day. People coming through. Mm-hmm. You can afford to pay them people yeah. a living wage so that they can afford an apartment. Mm-hmm. Why should people have to work three jobs to afford an apartment? Why is real estate? Mm-hmm. I've seen some celebrity just sold like their mansion for 13 point something million. Mm-hmm. 13 point something million? I think, I, and also I think, on you know the 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 mundane level, you know, yeah, I think that because of the dance, like, see, black people, we really didn't know how to deal with finance back then, right? You know what I'm saying? We didn't know how to deal with money, but there's no excuse now. We got the internet, we got everything. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Even me, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I talk to people now, but you know, black folks that. Are so high in the game. I, you know, I know uh, my guitar player's cousin. He's a brother here in Atlanta. He owns um, his own bank, and they're able a mortgage bank. He, he has billions of dollars. That's what I'm talking billions about. Billions of dollars to lend. Yeah, because I have a sister that came over here, and she deals with finances. I mm-hmm. forgot exactly where mm-hmm. her area. And I'm I'm linking up with her mm-hmm. that when I start the sisterhood circle mm-hmm. to teach these women about finances, how to apply for exactly. you know business loans, mm-hmm. how to get this money for your small business, mm-hmm. how to set it up. Mm-hmm. Now we got to be able to think money, to speak money. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I guess in closing, you know, mm-hmm. um, if you what what do you how do you foresee? the future coming in to, you know, this, this world. What do you see? I actually have hope. I see mm-hmm. good things coming. It, it, uh, there's a small segment that's not going to be happy because it, it, you're going to, it, it's going to have to be equality for all. Exactly. I equality agree. for mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. And the people, this one of the downloads that I just got, like a 98% getting ready to be on top. You, you understand? Mm-hmm. But the 98% that got themselves together, you know, because, um, you know, we have people talking about reparations. Mm-hmm. I don't see reparations being given like that. Mm-hmm. You no. know what I'm saying? No, because, and even if it did, it's like a skit like David Chappelle, you know, Tron that went out and bought a baby and did all of this foolishness. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to have the right mindset. mindset yeah. You got to be able to think like you said, think money, mm-hmm. speak that language, yeah. because money has now moved from earth to ear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we have got to be able to leave a legacy for the next exactly. generation. Because mm-hmm. this is how it was set up with them other people. Yeah. Yeah. That it was set up generations yeah. and generations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so our mindset has got to be different. Mm-hmm. We have got to change our mindset. What it is, is that now... With the age of Saturn for the next 24,000 years, Man. you have to be an adult. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to be an adult yeah. now. Put your adult shoes on. Right? Yeah, put your adult <laughs> shoes on. Because, you know, Saturn is the planet of manifestation. Mm. You will be able to manifest easily, especially in this age of ear. Mm. But you got to be able to be ready for it. Because Saturn don't give you anything just because you're cute mm. or she like you. Mm. Oh, you're going to work for this. You're going to work for it, yeah. And you got to you gotta carry yourself. You can't be, you know, walking around with your pants sagging. You know what I'm saying? Carrying yourself like a, dare, like, you, like a baboon. Yeah, like, like a baboon. <laughs> You're going to carry yourself with respect. I mean, look at our ancestors. Know, they right? didn't carry themselves like, like vagabonds and derelict. Look, mm-hmm. look, look at the, the craziness mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. It's time to clean up your yeah, shit and get together. Yeah. All right, well, you know... In the outro, please um, let the folks know where they can see you. Know, you got your YouTube channel, you got your Instagram. Yeah, yes, you know, I have. I'll, a, I'll, put, I'll put it on there so they can get okay. it as well. But you know, yeah. tell them. You know, bring my fakes to your folks. You know. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, <laughs> my YouTube channel, you know, is um, I'm on the Priestess Aset Ra Amen, mm-hmm. 
And uh, my Instagram name is the same, but I think it's priestess underscore Ra underscore yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I haven't really done anything with the Instagram, but, you know, I got my, my sisters that I'm just linking up with that's doing the business thing. It's like, girl, get on your Instagram and start. Uh, hey, no, I told you. Stuff. Remember I told you that? Yeah, you yeah, and you've been telling me that. So and even that. with the, and thank you, you know, <laughs> with, with even, um, the YouTube, when I do my videos, do the hashtag. Because the hashtag has made such a difference. But, you know, we need our own format. Because sometimes, you know, you want to have some conversation. Yeah. And if they don't like the conversation, like they demonetize you. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just waiting for us. Because there's some... Because even with the last video I did, Message to the Black Man... I had to keep it politically correct. Yeah, but I, 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 I peeped that. Yeah, I had to keep it politically correct because I really wanted to cut some folks out. But I did appreciate it, actually. Yeah, you know, I mean, because you all are the gods of this mm. planet, the mm. gods, mm. and you are created to serve and protect. You know what I'm saying? I'm not supposed to be doing all of this by myself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I resent. I have my place and you have your place. Yeah, exactly. And we got to be in complete balance and alignment. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so, we got to get back in balance and alignment with each other. That's it. I agree, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, I, I was looking so forward to you know this <laughs> this exchange. <laughs> oh, Look, thank and, you. And give you that stuff too. I was looking forward to that. Yes. Tony was like, "Go give her this tomorrow." I was like, "All right, I'm going to see yes. her anyway." Yes. So, um, yeah. So you know, I, I I appreciate your time, my beloved sister, and you know, thank you. I think thank it's you, time darling. for you and I to. Um, yeah, it's you know, a link. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, yeah. you know, what we were talking about earlier. This, yeah. And, you know, let's not stop, you know, let's make it happen. Right. Goddamn the talk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Damn, man. Oh, we are. We yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. Because, Paris you know, I'm talk. pulling, yeah, I'm pulling all the pieces <laughs> yeah. together. I, I hope you, you know, I'm going to yeah. help you. Whatever yeah. you do for me, you already know I'm here for you. Okay. Time. Yeah. All right, so that's it. You know, this is, you know, your girls are here on the Elevated Minks podcast. Yes. And, you know yes. what I'm saying? You know. You you seen one of the um you literally went one of the most dynamic devastating sisters um you know on this East Coast right now. Please call up for our readings because I'm gonna tell you straight up when she gave me my reading, she told me straight up don't even mess with me if you don't come with your um, natal chart and right. your numerology and your numerology yeah. because that's your exact science. Yeah. Everything is in there, yeah. what you're supposed to be doing to make money, what type of spiritual path yeah. you're supposed to be on, how do you protect yourself, as soon, you know what I'm saying? I mean, everything is in there. As soon as you said that, you know, I was like, okay, I'm home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my sister. <laughs> That's my big sister I've ever had. Now I found her. <laughs> yeah. But, um. But yeah, that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it for here. You know, Elevated Beings uh, podcast. And, you know, thank you again, my beloved sister. And, you know, thank until you. next time. All right. Peace. Thank you, Zoe. <laughs>